first thing we should plug in is the power supply that's included with the system. Uh, plug in the power supply um, to a power cord. Okay. And of course, depending on the country you're coming from, you'll get the correct power cord. Second thing we're going to plug in is the foot switch. Make sure we plug the foot switch in, in the correct core component. Okay. And secondly, and lastly, uh, we're going to plug in the nanoliter injector. Um, the Micro 2T is a two channel injector, so you make sure that you plug it in to the correct channel that you're going to use. Um, the connector for the Micro 2T has an um, indicator, like an arrow, showing you how to plug it in. And just make sure it goes in straight and it's in. Okay? Right well, now we're going to turn on the unit. Now we're going to show you how to um, set up this controller to work with the nanoliter injector. The first screen, that's, first screen that turns on is your home screen, and then you're going to um, go to your display all channels, and then you're going to hit configure. Um, and the first thing that you should do is to make sure that you selected the correct syringe or the nanoliter injector. Okay. Um, you're going to hit the select syringe, and you're going to bring down the, until you get to the correct one, which is NL, and you highlight it. When you highlight it, you hit back, and you have now selected the correct syringe or the correct type of injector for, to use with the nanoliter injector. And you can go back, and that's it. We're going to show you how to um, set the home position of the plunger on the injector, nanoliter 2020. First thing we do is hit the configure screen, configure button. Um, we hit the reset position. What we you should do is um, infuse um, to bring the plunger out a little bit outside the collar. Um, you have two speeds when, when you are um, doing this. You have the high speed with the many arrows and then you have a slower speed on um, both withdraw and for infuse. The one now to set the home position, you're going to bring the plunger back um, to right under the collet. When you have the plunger right under the collet, right under the uh, inside of the collet, you're going to hit set syringe. And this has set the plunger to this home position. And anytime you want the, uh, the plunger to come back to the home position, it's, this is the position. So now we're gonna show how to configure um, the, the rates and the volume target that you wanna inject. We're gonna hit configure. First thing that we should do is do the volume target. You hit the, the actual square for the volume target and you put it in, the, it's, it's by nanoliters, so you will put nanoliters, how many nanoliters you wanna inject. We're showing here that we wanna inject 500 nanoliters. And then you hit enter. And then you want to adjust the delivery rate. What's the nanoliters per second that you want to deliver, or the rate that you want to deliver? 20 nanoliters per second, okay? And then we have other options that you can use. Um, you can either do it nanoliters per minute or nanoliters per second, okay? And you can just change it by just clicking on either button. And then if you have additional injectors, you can either group them together or have them non-grouped that they do individual um, rates and, and, and targets or you can just disable the whole function. And once you have the, the rate and the target that you want to inject, you can hit back and you're ready to inject. Sometimes the gaskets get worn out um, and we have to replace gaskets to avoid leaks. Um, so now we're gonna show you how to remove the gaskets to replace them. Okay, the first thing that we do is um, remove the collet of the gas, of, of the injector. As you can see, it, has the, it comes out with the, the glass um, gasket. Second thing we're going to remove is the, um, the body of the injector. And with the tweezers that, you, that are included in the package, you get to remove the ceiling and the spacer gasket that's inside. And now we have removed all three gaskets um, and we'll be ready to replace them. First gasket that we, that we show is the black one. That's a, a sealed gasket. Second one is a spacer that you're gonna have to watch out on the orientation when you put it in. And the third one is for the glass capillary and you get three different ones according, so you can use according to the OD of the glass that you're using. You actually get three, one for one millimeter glass, one for 1.2 glass, one for 1 1.5 glass, and also for 1.14 glass. So we put in um, 
the body of the injector, screw it, screw it in securely. First gasket that we're gonna add is the seal gasket. Um, we have to make sure that it's on the right orientation. The second gasket is the spacer, and this is where the, the glass sits on, on the injector. And you have to also make sure that it's in the correct orientation. There's a concave part that goes towards the outside. And then the third gasket is capillary gasket, which you can put it on the collet and you can drive it. Okay. And then you just gotta make sure you screw it in secure. Thank you.